Hi there, Tony E.T., your national president. Uh, hope you're well, hope you're safe. Um, I know these are challenging times and uh, we're all feeling it. Um, as you probably appreciate, myself included, we all have businesses that are being impacted by yeah, obviously everything that's uh, changing our world right now as we live in a kind of a new world. But I want you to know that everybody here at uh, PSA, um, especially the board and I, are doing all we can uh, to support you as our valued members um, and also to try and carry on what uh, form of business as usual we can in this new world that we find ourselves in. Um, I'd like to thank uh, the, the, the board in particular that have been uh, working with me to, uh, to pull things around in such tight timeframes, uh, but also the good working group. Um, they're always there to support us and doing such a fantastic job, um, Fiona and Margaret, and uh, of course, Leslie, who's our secretary on the board. Um, and also, of course, uh, you know, the team at um, Wise Connections for the uh, convention that uh, we put on and we all enjoyed just before all this crazy stuff kind of really, really started. There's a number of ways that we really want to support you, especially in April, and uh, you'll find a lot of these in the newsletter as you as you read below. Firstly, uh, draw your attention to the national event. So one of the things that we have put together is uh, obviously with the limitations of being able to run any kind of live event or in fact any meeting of two people or more, uh, we've put together in, in a short uh, a matter of a couple of weeks um, a fabulous national virtual event. So I hope you can uh, join me and the team um, next week when we have Vin and Ed who will be coming to us live. And once again, this is where the community comes together. Those guys are getting up super early, uh, some ridiculous hour in the US, but uh, they wanted to support us. They wanted to be there for us. And they're putting on two fantastic presentations to share with us uh, their insights, especially Vin on, on how he's running his business. Um, in the, uh, in the kind of the, the current uh, impacts of COVID-19. So I hope you can join me. That's uh, next Wednesday. You'll find details here to register if you haven't already for our virtual event. Uh, that's gonna be followed up by our chapter hugs as we're calling them. We're getting kind of like a little bit tighter as a group supporting each other. So instead of the normal chapter events, we're gonna be having chapter, chapter virtual hugs. Uh, the interesting thing with this is, is that uh, you are more than welcome to join any state chapter hug. So even uh, supporting your own chapter hug is great, but you may also want to join in with uh, the rest of the hugs around the state. So check out those dates and uh, please register. These, day, these uh, chapter hugs are free uh, for members and members only. Um, so we keep it nice and tight for our PSA community. Um, and you'll be seeing more details about those uh, as we get closer uh, over the next uh, few weeks um, following our national event. There's also a special offer for those that aren't on Zoom. Obviously, we're all living in this remote world of uh, working from home and working remotely. So we have our Zoom Unlimited uh, that we've uh, put out at, um, at pretty much a cost price for us at PSA, which is $2.97 for a six-month uh, uh, contract for Zoom Unlimited. It gives you access to run webinars of up to 500 people, Zoom meetings of up to 500 people, um, and that's available to to all our members now at uh, that special price of 2.97. Um, there's also Boost. Make sure you uh, get behind uh, the Boost program if uh, if that's uh, if you have time in, in in your day and in your business now to uh, to kind of move to the next level to to look at what's uh, beyond COVID, then uh, obviously Ian Stevens is, is running our, our Boost program. Bizversity is a fantastic forum. That's available free to all members. There's some details in the newsletter below where you can uh, find out how to access Bizversity. Um, again, uh, that's from, from Dell and his team and some amazing content that you'll have access to to, to learn and uh, just become a bit smarter, which we all need to do, I think, through these challenging times. Um, and also PSAX, you'll be hearing more about that as we develop uh, that uh, particular offering to our, um, our marketplace. So I'd like to close actually by sharing with you just something I've been sharing with our team. So I also have a business, I have a, a team here at Sorted Stone, um, and I kind of took the COVID uh, word as it was and just kind of reshaped it into uh, more of a kind of a positive focus. So I broke down COVID, I shared it with my team this week, and I wanted to share it with you right now. So I put C of the COVID kind of name standing for caring. You know, it's no, never more important than right now to be caring for, for a, a number of things, but they also happen to begin with C. So caring for your crew, that's your, your team. If you have a team, if you still have a team working with you, whoever they might be, it could be your family. Who are your crew? Who are you, how are you caring for your crew? Caring for your customers. How can you bring them closer? Because most of the time your customers 
that are out there now are suffering the same as we are, going through the same challenges that we are right now. And finally, C for caring for the community. Um, obviously, keeping our speaking community alive uh, for us, our, our kind of um, you know our marketing community is uh, is kind of making that uh, evident in how we do it. O is for over communication. I think when we all move into this remote space, communication can be misleading. Uh, it can be completely missed. So um, try and think about how do you over communicate um, because I think that has become very useful for me for people to just remind me of things that I may have missed because obviously working remote, you don't see people, you don't connect with them as often as you maybe would. V in COVID for me is vision. Um, one of the things I shared with my team as well is that I, I really believe, you know, all crises don't last forever. And, and often, hopefully after a crisis, there becomes you know, a, a positive, maybe even a boom period. So we need to be thinking about vision. So keeping an eye on what's happening now in terms of survival, and then another eye on the future. Like what does it look like beyond COVID? Um, I think that's important to think. I is for innovate. Never before have we had to think uh, creatively on our feet as we do right now, make, uh, make these, uh, these changes to our business and the way we do business quickly. So think about innovation. How can you do things differently? Maybe like you've never done before, uh, but now's the time to try these things because um, you know nothing is off limits. And finally, D for me out of COVID is decision. Um, again, you know it's very, it's very much about making decisions now. Like something that you bring to market that's 70% right today is going to be far far more effective for you than something that's 100% right two or three weeks from now. Hope there's something in there for you. Um, certainly, I shared that with my team, and we're working through how we can reshape probably pivot our focus a little bit from, um, you know, the negativity and, and, and everything else, the challenges of COVID-19. Uh, so please take care, stay safe, uh, try and stay positive as much as possible and know that we're here to support you. Um, and of course, I hope to, to share more with you at next week's national virtual event.